Hey folks, Poverty Point Customs here. What I picked up for my 06 Yamaha Strata Liner is a GoHawk Amplified Sound Bar. Purchased this through Amazon Canada. It was around $113 delivered. What I wanted was something that was uh, quite compact and quite simple to set up, wire, and take off if I wanted to. And at the end of the video, I'll leave all the specs on the uh, GoHawk uh, Amplified Speaker System. So this unit is eight and a quarter inches long. So it comes with two three and seven eight stainless steel mounting brackets, as well as the brackets that goes around your handlebars. However, these bars are really thick, so I wasn't able to use them. So what I did is I ended up putting the brackets on here and some cable ties. Again, this isn't a permanent install. This is something that I'll put on and take off every once in a while big thing is you want to make sure that it's not rubbing up against your handlebars uh, chrome. So I currently have this wire directly to my battery with an inline fuse. The nice thing about this is it comes with 59 inches of wire that will actually go from here underneath the tank right to my battery. So taking a look at the unit it has uh, different modes. It has a uh, Bluetooth wireless, which I've been using. It has a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. It has a USB port, a micro SD slot. You can also use an FM radio, as well as it also has a clock on it, which is kind of nice. Coming out of the side is your power cable. The white wire is your FM radio antenna, and the uh, black one is your Bluetooth antenna. And they say this unit is waterproof, so we'll certainly be trying that out. Just below your buttons, there's a little flap that opens up. That's where your aux, USB, or micro SD uh, ports are at. A little hard to see where I have it positioned, but. So I like the fact that it comes with a 3.5 millimeter aux cord for your phone to the uh, stereo. And there's the brackets that you can wrap around your handlebars. Again, my bars are way too thick. Nice thing about these, they're stainless steel, so they're not going to rust. And they give you lots of uh, little black cable ties as well as some extra wire. You can actually wire this up to your ignition. If I do like this uh, system after a while, I am going to wire to the ignition rather than hardwire to the battery. But the big question is, can you actually hear this little stereo when the bike's going? I couldn't play the uh, song too loud or for too long as you get a uh, copyright. So I currently have a windshield on it. If you're going on the highway, this has to be on full volume in order to hear it. If you're giving it any type of RPMs, I found if I'm up around 3000 RPMs, this is pretty much useless. If I'm cruising at around 2000 RPMs on the back row with a windshield on, this works fantastic. So if you're doing a lot of highway riding with a windshield, full volume is a must. Again, it's uh, quite quiet, especially if you're a passenger on back, you're not going to hear it at all. And I wear a full face helmet too, so it's uh, quite hard to hear it. On the back roads doing say 40, 50 miles an hour, I can hear this great. If you're on the highway without a windshield, this is no good to you. So my overall review, if you're looking for a cheap radio for around town, this is going to be great for long highway trips. You're going to want something with a lot more power to it than this. Again, it's a nice compact unit. That's why I did like it. I didn't want something that was high. You can get the big pod speakers, but I wanted something that was low and compact. And that's taking a look at it from the front. It doesn't sit too high. So my honest review on this for highway, I wouldn't recommend this uh, amplified stereo system. You got to go with a higher output system. For around town, it works great. So if you're doing a lot of around town driving, this is a nice little system. Highway, get something a little bit more powerful. Again, for the price, so I can't complain. Anyways, if you have any tips, suggestions, comments, make sure you post them below. Also, if you have any suggestions on other 
stereo systems for your bike something that's low profile make sure you post it below so i can check it out anyways thanks for watching take care